everyone. Today we're going to do some trigonometry with angles in standard position, and we're going to use the unit circle. So hopefully in class, you learned that if you have an angle that's graphed in standard position, it's going to intersect the unit circle on this point. Okay. Now the unit circle means that all the distances from the origin, because the unit circle is centered at the origin, to the points are all going to be 1. That's why it's called the unit circle. Okay, and here's the angle right here. We'll call it theta. So we're going to take a look at some trigonometry with these angles. Now hopefully what you can see here is that I can make a right triangle using my point x, y because the distance from here to here is x, the distance from here to here is y. So if I think about trig, that means that the sine of my angle is going to equal y over my hypotenuse, which in this case would be 1, because I've created a right triangle here where the hypotenuse of the triangle is the radius of my unit circle. And the cosine of the angle would be x over 1. So this is really telling me that that point x, y can really be defined as cosine of the angle comma sine of the angle meaning that this distance here is cosine of the angle and this distance here is sine of the angle. Now I've got three trig functions, right? I'm missing my third one which is tan or tangent of the angle. So let me see here, can I write tangent in terms of sine and cosine? Well tangent is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg, right? The ratio of the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Now the opposite leg we defined as sine of the angle and the adjacent leg we defined as cosine of the angle. So I can write tangent as sine of the angle over cosine of the angle. Okay, that's going to prove to be really helpful for me when I move on here. So let's take a look at an example. Let's find the sine of 120 degrees, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch that angle to see where it's going to intersect the unit circle and in which quadrant it's going to be. Now 120 is between 90 and 180. So it's a closer to 90, so I'm going to sketch it right about here. So that this is 120 degrees. So what I'm really looking for is this point where the angle intersects the unit circle. Okay, and that point we know is cosine of the angle, comma, sine of the angle. Okay? So if I sort of imagine a triangle there, now if I'm plotting a point in the second quadrant, the x value of that point is going to be negative because I'm going to the left, and the y value of that point is going to be positive because I'm going up. So I know right now that the sine of this is going to be a positive value because the point is in the second quadrant. Now what's my reference angle? Let's see, if I think about it, 120 degrees, that's really 60 less than 180. So my reference angle in this case is 60 degrees. So the sine of 120 is going to kind of act like the sine of 60. Now if I think about how this ratio works, if my hypotenuse is 1, then across the 60 is root 3 over 2, and across from the 30 is a half, okay? So the point 
where this angle intersects the unit circle. Negative one half comma root three over two. So that means that the sine is going to correspond to the y value. So the sine of the angle is root three over two. Okay, let's take a look at another one. How about the tangent of 315 degrees? So the first thing we're going to do is graph it. Okay, 315 is between 270 and 360. It's actually exactly halfway. So this angle here is 315. Okay, and I'm looking for this intersection point. So that's going to be cosine of the angle, sine of the angle. Now a point in the fourth quadrant, the x value of that point is going to be positive, and the y value of that point is going to be negative. So if I draw in my triangle here, that's going to be cosine of the angle. Y direction is going to be sine of the angle. Okay. So now, if this is 315 degrees in standard position, my reference angle is going to be 45. The difference between 360 and 315. So if I think about, again, my ratios here, if my hypotenuse is 1, then both legs are going to be 1 over root 2. Okay. So the point is going to be 1 over root 2, comma, negative 1 over root 2. Cosine is positive, the sine's negative. Now, we've discovered here that tangent is going to be sine over cosine. So let's think here. The sine is negative 1 over root 2 and the cosine is 1 over root 2, okay? So I have something divided by itself here, and one of them is negative, so the tangent of this angle is going to be negative 1. Okay, try this one on your own. Let's do, have you try the cosine of 210 degrees. Okay, so pause the video, wait for the answer. So the cosine of 210 is negative root 3 over 2. Okay, good luck everybody with your classwork.